I want to talk to you today about medical advice and being careful who you get medical advice from. Now I understand the irony of a man standing here in front of a camera giving you advice about not taking advice. I, I get it. But one thing I'll tell you is anything you hear me say, you know, don't just take my word for it. Look it up. Um, I don't care if it's a doctor or if it's a nurse or if it's a paramedic, a CNA, an EMT, a med tech, a respiratory therapist. I don't care. Not everyone specializes in everything. So you have to be really careful who you're getting your medical advice from. I've heard so many things that have been told to lay people, non-medical people, that was told to them by a friend or a cousin who works at this place or whatever, that were just so wrong that it was dangerous. And that goes all the way up to physicians. Understand that doctors don't specialize in everything. They learn about everything, and then when they get out of, the school, out of school and they do their residency, that's when they specialize in one certain field. So you can have a doctor who specializes in vascular surgery. That doesn't mean they know anything about uh, brain surgery. You know, you can have a doctor who specializes in neurology. That doesn't give him the knowledge or the experience is what the most important thing is. It doesn't give him the experience to treat people in, say, like a, uh, a family practice setting. Um, <clears throat> and it, kind of my own uh, experience with that, this just happened not too long ago. I took a patient in the emergency room, um, and they were in a certain cardiac rhythm, which I, I knew what the cardiac rhythm was. I knew it, I treated it, and I corrected it. And um, the nurse had just graduated nurse practitioner school. She had just passed her boards, the nurse who was taking this patient from me. And she said that the rhythm was something else. She didn't look at the rhythm. She didn't look at the 12 lead that I provided her. She just asked me something about the patient's history. And then based on that one question, she determined that it was this other rhythm that it wasn't. And the thing she didn't bother to ask me was the patient also had a history that supported the diagnosis I had made and the treatment that I had provided. Also, if it was what that nurse was saying, the treatment that I provided would not have worked, however it did. But you will run into people who just because they have medical knowledge in one certain area, they're going to think that that makes them an authority and they can offer advice on other things. Like me, I'm a paramedic. I'm not going to tell you anything about doing surgery or you know how to how often you need to roll a patient from one side or the other on the med surge floor to keep them from developing bed sores or wound care or anything like that. That's not my thing. I'm not going to tell you anything about that. But you do have people out there who will. So just um, understand that medical degrees don't really mean shit. And what I mean by that is the person who passed uh, you know, MD school with the lowest grade still became a doctor. So those people are out there. It's just like any other profession um, in law enforcement. You have cops who are really good at their job and cops who are absolutely piss poor at their job. Well, you have doctors who are really good at their job and you have doctors who are absolutely piss poor at their, jo their job. I've had doctors, some excellent doctors, teach me things that I would have never learned if it wasn't for them, and it was awesome. And I've had doctors who literally had no idea what they were doing. Uh, in a rural setting, in most rural areas, at least where I'm at, um, most small town hospitals that have an ER, those ERs are staffed by physicians who are moonlighting to make extra money away from their regular day job. So they'll drive down from the big city where they have like a vein care clinic where they take care of varicose veins, you know, do injections on people all day. That's what they do. And then they come down and moonlight in the ER which is fine when you have people coming in with runny noses and coughs. But then when a seriously sick patient or a seriously injured patient comes in, the doctor has no idea what to do um, because that's not what they specialize in. That's not what they deal with every day. So it's usually on the nurses or the paramedics to uh, you know, kind of lead the doctor in the right direction. Doctors don't like to think that you're doing that. They like to think it's all their idea on their own, but you have to kind of lead them down the path that, that, that they need to go down. Not to mention, if somebody has to be intubated, like 
those doctors, you might as well not even let them touch the laryngoscope. It's just, it's so anyway, guys, that's what I want to talk about today. Um, be careful where you get your medical advice because just because somebody offers you advice, that doesn't mean that they know what they're talking about. I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, share this video if you are so inclined. And until next time, stay safe. Thanks.